Hi, Sam Tober, Sound of Joy Music Services. And we're on to our next viewer request. Blessed be the name. Now, this song has one, two, three, four, five, six um, modulations. So we're not going to change our chordy app. We'll keep it on C. And we'll get you through the song. Because they all, they all it's, it's, again, a gospel song that has a pattern. Now, this Blessed Be the Name is uh, more of a, it's not up-tempo. But it has a, like a swing pattern to it. So we're going to give you the actual swing notes. Let's start with our scale in D flat. That's the key that it originally starts in. And back down. Not just our right hand, but our left hand also. We'll give you two octaves there. Good practice. And back down over the left hand. Let's get those fingers trained and your ears hearing the different notes. Okay, let's give you the Nashville chords, number system chords, because they are in operation in this song. Two octaves. There it is. Back down just to practice. Blessed be the name from a scale standpoint. All in the scales. Now that is your 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 basic scale for this song, but of course, being that it's a gospel, they are they have inverted it. the gospel approach again that's my scale that happens to deal with how the gospel sound is so what you're going to be doing as a musician is you're going to be chording around what they're doing See, I am walking all around the three-part harmony, in and out of it, and then throwing in the little bit intricates. You want that change to take it to the four. One. One. The six. Two. Major. Seven. That's going to take you right there. But now, when you're ready to change key, hold that note there and just go to an A7. I don't know why my chordy app is not showing my chord changes. Let's see what's missing. But the chordy app should be showing that change. sleep on us so now from here it is an a7 that's gonna take us to the D major watch 
sevens. with my chair one second there we go I feel like I'm in, in sinking sand now again when you're in D and you want to go to E flat same thing Seventh. Now you're in E major. G F sharp. Give me a hard time. It knows it's on the way out. One more time in E. changes in its key. Now you're going to go into F with a C7. you're getting is a scale exercise from D flat all the way up to G flat what you do is you get comfortable with the with, with the pattern and again um, 
practice with the actual song. You will see where these chords fit in that pattern, and you should have no trouble getting through this song. Take care. Like, subscribe, and share the video. And, of course, leave your comments. Take care now.